I want to show you a really quick and easy way if you need to send a customized receipt and the automations the way that they're currently set up are just not working for what you need to be able to send your customers one of the ways that you can do this is go into the exact offer that you are needing a customized receipt for maybe it's the situation where an employee needs to be able to submit the receipt to their employer and so they need more detailed information than the receipt that might come from stripe or might the confirmation email that comes out of kajabi all you need to do is go down into your automations all right do not use this after purchase email use the automation okay it's a very easy way to do it and you can use the uh, personalization tags which i'm going to so show you make this super easy so we're just going to add an automation right here and kajabi will select when the offer is purchased it will do what the offer is because you are adding it directly from the offer if instead you were going through the automations front door on your Kajabi dashboard, you would need to select your offer and the one that it is. So we're just good. That's locked in. We can't mess it up. We're going to click send an email right here. We're going to send it to the person and we're going to type in receipt for purchase of and then write in what it is. So specific offer one, whatever the name is, you customize it. Because again, we're making this specific. So you can leave in hello. Um, then you can say, here is your receipt for the purchase of specific offer one. Now you can type in receipt information depending on what you need it to say so let's say you need to know the first name and you need to know the last name and then purchase price because it's specific on this offer you can write it in so let's say it was 197 US dollars now while we are waiting for Kajabi to roll out all of the tax stuff Let's say that your 197 includes your additional taxes, whatever those might be. Let's say it includes VAT. So let's just put VAT and then I'm going to just type in a random number like that. Okay. So I'm here's the purchase price. Kajabi is not doing any of these calculations. This is what you're able to do because it is on the automation. All right, so maybe you need the address of the company. So company information, um, name, address, email, contact phone, any details. So you can put all of that into your email, whatever you need it to be for this specific offer. And this allows you to send a customized receipt to your person then i always recommend preview it in your browser before you send it make sure it looks the way that you want it to look and you can also send a test email to yourself i recommend doing both of those actions double check it when it's all set the way that you want it to go you just click save and the email will go out now, if you say, but I have this exception and I have this exception and I have this exception, I would encourage you take some time and see if they are truly exceptions or if they share a common denominator because Kajabi makes it so easy to leverage those common denominators. If there are true exceptions, then you can add on the additional filters. So. Here is our basic automation. The receipt is going out to everyone. If you are absolutely sure it is an exception and not just a business process that needs to be tweaked, which I will tell you 80 to 90% of the time, that is the case. So click on edit, but sometimes there are true exceptions. Then you need to use the conditional automations. Okay, that's where it says add a condition. Now, if you don't have additional condition if you don't have conditional automations 
in your Kajabi account, I will tell you it is the best money you will ever spend. Upgrade your plan now. The difference in price is about 50 US dollars. You cannot hire anyone in your business to work 24 seven, 365, not mess up, not take a break and do exactly what you tell them to do for $50. It is the best money you will possibly spend, especially if you need this as a function. So I can click add a condition and then I can, depending on how I've segmented people, I can say, for instance, let's use tags because that's how most often it's going to come up, where send this receipt only if they live in this country. Send this only if they have this additional feature. Use your tags in that instance. And so I can say, does not have the tag, and we're gonna just choose a random one, um, choice A right there and click apply. So if I need one email to go to people with choice A and one email to go to people with choice B, then I set those up as two separate automations. So please ask me any questions that you have. This is um, a technique that you can use in a variety of situations. And when you set it up, when you've thought through exactly what you want it to do, you're truly tapping into the power of Kajabi. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye-bye.